Hello everybody, it's Bangkok Ian here. I enjoyed doing the video from yesterday, so I thought, let's make some more. So uh, here's a video response to a guy called Bucky749. I just found his channel. It's about 90s questions. Uh, my friend Matt Metropolis, he made a VR response, and, and Ben at T-Rex Base Station, he did a response earlier, like just yesterday. And uh, I must say, salutes to Ben. He's a PhD doctor and he's going back into the hospital to help out in the UK in this hour of need. So, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay, anyway, let's get on to the VR. Again, okay, it's, it's 90s questions and that's my favorite decade. It's mainly geared towards the younger person because I was not in school. I was working throughout the 90s. At, I was in Africa for the vast majority of it, working 28-28 on the rigs, uh, West Africa, Nigeria, Gabon, a few other countries, but mainly West Africa. Mm. Ah, I can't beat Leo, best beer. Okay, anyway, so as I said, I was working, so this is from an older person's perspective of the 90s. So. Um, as I said, I was young, free and single, and it's probably my favorite decade without any commitments. It was a great decade for me. Anyway, on to question one. Favorite cartoon you own on DVD? I've got them written down. Uh, own on DVD or your favorite cartoon? As I said, I'm a bit of a older person, so uh, I wasn't into the kids' cartoons by those days. I was mainly into the 70s and 80s of my cartoon decades. But, Simpsons, can't go wrong with The Simpsons, provided it's the 90s. After the 2000s, it's Chris steadily got more and more, you know, uh, less funny, let's say that, you know. But The, the Simpsons, it started in 1989, the first season, I believe. And so seasons 1 to 11 throughout, throughout the 90s, absolutely brilliant, you know, you got Home of Bad Man, Home of the Greats, Mr. Plow. Absolutely brilliant television. Just can't go wrong with The Simpsons in my mind. Especially the Homer centric episodes. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Okay, and uh, Sega or Nintendo. Right, uh, again, I was working during the 90s, so I had a nice disposable income. So I had all all the consoles. I had the Mega Drive, SNES, and I had the Game Boy, and I had the Game Gear. And to answer it, I take both all their products into one. I like, I love the Mega Drive, but I didn't like the Game Gear that much because the batteries killed it for me. I was working, I said I was working in Africa, and uh, I tried taking it to Africa and the battery life, you, couldn't, you had to have it plugged in and that was a problem because it meant packing a bloody power adapter or loads and loads of batteries. So because of the brilliant battery life of the Game Boy and the great games of the SNES, I'm gonna give it to Nintendo for this. Um, and as I said, I had a Japanese Mega Drive, I had a Japanese uh, SNES and uh, yeah, Japanese Game Boy Java and Japanese Game Gear all in port because I uh, yeah, disposable income in the 90s. So, yeah, Nintendo for that one. Uh, question three your favorite console game? Right, that always changes. Right now, uh, I was going to go with Final Fantasy 7 because you've got the, the remake coming out this week. Metropolis has already got the damn thing, the lucky bastard. Ah. So I have to wait till it gets released officially on the 10th before I can get it. But yeah, I'm definitely getting that because I love Final Fantasy VII. But that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for Legend of Zelda on the SNES and its associated game, Link's Awakening. So I mean, so um, Link to the Past on the SNES. Wow, what an amazing game. That was my first ever Zelda game. And since then, I've owned, yeah, I must have owned every single Zelda game that came out since the SNES days. It's 
can't be beaten. So yeah, so Link to the Past and Link's Awakening. Uh, for favourite comic. Yeah, I'm a, I was a big comic reader in the 80s and 90s. I've sort of tapered off. But there was only really one choice for me and that's Garth Ennis' Preacher. Absolutely loved that series. I think it was uh, 1995 it first came out. 1995 to 2000. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love that series. Didn't think the TV series was all right, but of course it wasn't a patch on the on the comic series. And absolutely brilliant, so funny. An absolute classic, absolute classic. Uh, let's see, number five, favorite pro wrestler. That's, I've never really been into wrestling. I used to have it in the back, have it on the background on the Saturdays when The Rock. So I, I was supposed to go, yeah, I've said The Rock, but he was the only one that I ever really knew. So, Rock, but that's not really an answer because I'm not really into wrestling. Um, number six, favorite song and music video. This was very easy for me. Has to be Chris Isaac, Wicked Game. Brilliant song. Uh, the, the song was in the David Lynch film Wild at Heart, which I absolutely adore. But that music video with Helena Christensen when they're on the beach, a shot by is it Herb Alpert, all black and white. Probably the sexiest music video that's ever been made. It's an absolute classic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Brilliant song as well. Absolutely classic song timeless. I have it on my YouTube uh, download list and I watch it a couple of times a month. Brilliant. And finally, your favourite live action TV show. Well, it's a 90s, 90s question, so for me, it's a no-brainer. It has to be Friends. I can't think of a more 90s TV show than Friends. I mean, I can't name a single episode that was my favourite because they were all pretty much all damn good, you know. The writing on Friends and the ensemble, you know, the, the atmosphere together, the camaraderie. What a brilliant TV show. I can't see them bringing it back, it just wouldn't be the same. But yeah, Friends was unmissable. When I was working on the rigs, I would have them all recorded on the VHS every Friday on Channel 4, was it 9 o'clock it came out? So I had four episodes to watch when I came back from Africa and first thing I did was rewind the video and watch all the episodes I missed. And absolutely fantastic friends. So yeah, that's my video response to uh, 90s questions. Really nice, really nice doing this. It breaks the monotony of being stuck in the home all day. So I hope I'm going to scour YouTube and look for more video responses and see if I can do some more. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Cheers.